Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakaha Kudash, double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, who rule well, teach well, with much diligence watching over the flock. Peace, love, and salutation unto the whole full elect. Kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth, waiting for Yahweh Shai's return patiently, okay, not losing faith, not wavering, all right, watching the signs and, and, and being made aware. Shalom to you uh, Israelite foreigners around the four corners of the globe waking up to this blessed gospel, this blessed news, which is for the nation of Israel. Prophetic dreams of the end will be entitled of this lesson, 7.39 p.m. Um, this uh, Friday night, um, I want to lay down this show of, um, of an article that I, that I saw from the uh, end of the American dream. As I have the leak here, I have a few scriptures prepared. And uh, this woman by the name of Sonya Craghead, as the title says, just had a supernatural experience in which she was shown a devastation future attack on Babylon the Great. You know, and um, this is uh, not new. This is uh, more information at the end. And in this article, uh, this guy, Michael Snyder, he and I like to do a lot of lessons on this uh, this guy's uh, source because he brings out, you know, good information and you can link it up with the scriptures and it's repetitive. And, and, and that's what prophecy is. It's on repeat. It's in it's turned up right now. But this woman, she had a prophetic dream of the end, you know, of the missiles. OK, being shot from the sh silo, uh, the silos or the submarines from Russia. And the scriptures talk about that. All right. The missiles flying and, and what Ezra saw. So. I'm going to read this article and Lord willing, this uh, is edifying, but I'm going to start here in, uh, in, jo in uh, Joel uh, 2, the second chapter, and starting at the 28th verse. And side note, the Most High, Yahweh Shimei Shah, he can put prophetic dreams on heathens. Okay, he can put it on our nation, which our nation is having dreams too. You know, um, the heathens, he, he did it in history. Okay, with uh, Balak, when he was sent to curse the nation of Israel, but it was turned into a blessing. All right, so this is Joel 2 in, um, in 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old man shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Now, before I continue to read, all right, the verse in um, 28, 29. All right. This is happening on the nation of Israel and other nations, the older older uh age group okay the young woman young man are having all dreams of the end all right seeing visions prophetic ends of, of 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 the end game of esau edom the dragon the serpent the devil that's going to be cast into the lake of fire and the two-thirds of our people man our right, people are seeing visions of the end all right this ain't no game man the most i ain't just putting this on he, uh, the uh, mankind for no reason, man. All right, but the world will wake up when it's too late, but the elect will have mercy and understand. So I'm going to read this in uh, Lord willing, this uh, lesson is edifying. It says, um, what, I'm, what I'm about to share with you is so important, and I hope that you will share this with everyone you can. There is so much. You know what? I'm going to get to the point because you brothers, I, I know I forget sometimes to post it in the description box, but Lil Will and I remember to do it. But I'm going to skim through this and get to the point, you know. It says, there is so much prophetic ch chatter in the Christian world today, but most of it comes from uh, charlatans that have never actually had any su supernatural experiences with the Most High at all. Now, you don't have to have a supernatural experience even to be with the Most High. Even to believe in the Most High. He can make you a believer by just putting a dream into you. Okay? 
It don't. It, 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 the Most High can do what he what he want to do. Okay, but you got people that will spin it in certain ways that to have people believe it, but it's not true. But let me keep reading. And when their prophecies inevitably fail, it will it makes the entire prophetic community look bad. But of course, there are others that actually do have very real supernatural experiences with the Most High in which they are shown things about the future. On su one such individual is my friend Sonia Craighead. Those that have followed my work for a long time are already familiar with her. And some of the things that she has been shown over the years have already come to pass. So I will take what she has to say very seriously. And when I think of when I read when I read this, I think about what my elders say, how Apostle Tahar, my my uh my my father in the spirit, you know, that have brought me up in these years and the brothers that the true the, the serious leadership around them. The, the Apostle Tahar woman always has dreams and he he takes heed to it. He he uh you know dreams are not always uh on point. They may have some weird turns to it, but the, the Apostle Tahar has a great spirit of discernment. And you can discern between diverse spirits even amongst the world, man. You know, so there's, there ain't no, like I said in the beginning of the video, these things are just not just, oh, you just had a dream, that's that. No, the Most High is showing you things. Just like uh, they have a saying, deja vu, you've been here before. You have been. You, you're predestinated. Everybody's predestinated. All right, it says this late vision... Uh, this late vision that she had our sh sh let me get to the point let me just get to the point <laughs> all right because i can sit here and read the whole intro but her name here it is it says this is her intro it says hello michael and miranda michael which is michael snyder and i believe maybe his uh wife or whatever warning to g o d s god's Amer god's american remnant of coming attack or well, okay which is which you can, can break this down as it being the elect January 6, 2020, 20. check this out, brothers. Yesterday, I had a mini vision of something so devastating that I struggled to find words to describe it. It, it is a coming event that will nearly destroy America. I saw coming from the Gulf of Mexico out of the beautiful ocean views, a series of very fast moving things that I don't know what they are. They were coming out of the ocean, ocean from off the coast of Florida, West to below Houston, off the coast of Texas. They went up and arched in the sky. Then they went inland into the U.S. and then came down on the U.S. cities. They began close to the Florida Panhandle and nearly, but not quite concurrent order, they ended at Houston. Houston will take a direct hit. I don't know how many cities will be hit or the exact location of the other cities other than Houston because it all caught me off guard due to the rapid speed of this event. I think they hit six or eight U.S. cities nearly at the same time. Total destruction by massive fireballs and explosions larger than I have ever seen with horrific waves of heat going miles in every direction of where they landed. Igniting every everything close to these terrible heat waves on fire with huge fireball explosions that reach hundreds of feet into the air. Now, I know I'm reading a little bit fast because I want to get through the video. All the, the You know, a lot of this is meat. But you can slow the video down too, okay? But check the vision out, man. You know this is this is written in the scriptures. The only way to interpretate this, like Daniel, he was the only prophet to interpretate um, the uh, king's dreams, and you had men being put to death because they couldn't interpretate the dreams. But now, all right, uh, you the the prophets are here in the last days interpreting these visions. NASA is hiring religious uh, leaders to uh, find out what these chariots are in the, in the sky. When we out there in the highways and byways, giving it away the true understanding. It says cities and towns were just suddenly gone and intense explosions were all going on at the same time. I didn't comprehend what was happening because of the speed of how fast it happened. No warning, no time to evacuate. You know, it makes me think about this scripture. All right. You know, and they knew not into it into the flood came. Get to read this real quick. This is Matthew twenty four and uh thirty nine. It says, uh let's get let's get to the point, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Let's read thirty uh, eight. Let's read thirty seven. 
Matthew 24 and 37. But as the days, but as the days of Noah were, which is Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came. And took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So a flood, when a flood happens, when when, when they just think about it, people that stay in like these uh uh different uh housing sections on mountains or whatever that, that's surrounded by a lot of water, when 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 a, when a breach happens, they have no warning run, warning from it. It just happens and they have to just they have to just do what they can at the time. All right. Now, if they were better prepared for that uh, before that breach even broke, they would know what to do within that flood. But when this flood comes, people are going to be caught off guard, man. Once these missiles is shot, people it ain't going to be no way to turn. You ain't going to be able to turn back time and repent. You had all the time in the world to repent before this before this before this even happened. No warning, no time to escape, no time to escape this terrible fate. It was so catastrophic, it's hard for me to describe it in words. There wasn't the breeze after these explosions of fire. There was just huge, intense fires burning, burning nothing because nothing was left. It only took just a few seconds. A few seconds, brothers. Watching this, I was so surprised. I just silently stood there watching in silent horror. It sickened me. I shook, became chill, and cried. All in just a few seconds that this vision lasted, I needed hours of time alone before I could even tell my husband, Dave, what I was shown. Man, who who got sick at seeing the visions? Daniel got sick. Edges got sick. This woman got sick. <laughs> man, it, when you see things, like, it makes you get You have those feelings, man. Brothers, brother, you know you know that feeling when you just know. You, you visualize certain things happening. You brothers get dreams of this, man. You know, so and, and, and this happening on the minds of everybody, man. You know, it says, I don't know when this will happen, but it will happen when America, America is weak. Our nation seems to be weakening right now. But when this happens, it will be much weaker. And we are in those ten toes. The scriptures say uh, part iron and part clay. OK, and you can't you can't you can't mix iron and clay together. It's not going to last. And and that's the last um, um, toast, the last um, end of the statue in Daniel's vision. And that's where we at. The na this nation is weak. But ain't the scripture say ain't no healing for uh, Babylon the Great. It says what was the most terrifying? What was the most terrifying to me was the sad. the What was the most terrifying what was the most terrifying to me was the suddenness of this coming event. You know, because, hey, there will be no warnings, no sirens, no emergency broadcasts, nothing. It would just happen when nobody is expecting anything like this. I hesitate to even write about it. But please, people, fall on your knees now and repent to the Most High because time <laughs> is short. You know, time is short. Time is short, and, and and everything that this woman saw was written in the, is written in the scriptures, man. We're gonna read it. This is Revelation, which I said in the the, the last video, which which you, which you should know by now. All right, um, the book means to reveal. Revelation six and twelve it says, "And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood." Or that eight, that great great earthquake is uh matter of fact let me continue to read it before i uh jump the gun verse 13 and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth even as the fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of an of a mighty wind so this star that fell from heaven okay which made uh the sun become black okay and the moon as blood is talking about these missiles man from the fire and the black smoke of it as if a, a, a like a like a um like a fig like a, a fig tree casting her untimely figs like a tree that's not it has its figs on the tree but a mighty wind just come and just shake all the uh, all the unripened figs off the tree and they all just fall off but the majority of them fall and that's how John the Revelator is seeing a vision on the island of Patmos in prison 
All right, he's seeing this, seeing the end, the end of the the end of the first beast. He saw, uh, it's like the second beast. All right, he he was in the first beast. All right, uh, the Roman Empire at the time, seeing the second downfall when it was to revise again. Man, this is heavy, and this is what people are seeing now today. It says, verse 14, And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Okay, because when those missiles are shot, all right, when you look at um, men like, what was his name? Um, uh, not, uh, I think it was his name was, uh, they dropped the, uh, that first nuclear bomb in California. What was his name? Um, uh, his name loses me. It's not, um, he said, I become the destroyer of worlds, but uh, his name is on the tip of my tongue. Uh, oh, Lord. It's funny that I, I lose it as, I, as I'm as i trying to think because, you know, man, I want to, I can't believe, I can't believe I'm losing the guy's name. Uh, his name is, uh, it's not, um, it loses me. But let me continue to read on. But when they, when those, when they are dropped, they look like a, they're like a mushroom cloud. Okay? They're like a mushroom cloud. All right? As it's rolled together like a scroll. All right? That's what John is seeing. It's like a scroll when this explosion happens. And the, king, and, uh, and the kings of the earth and great men and the rich men and the, chi and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? Because as these missiles are dropping, as we read in Matthew 14, uh, 24, Yahweh Shai is going to be on his way, redeeming the elect from the four corners of the earth, because they ain't going to take part in the destruction. All right? They're not going to be in the lake of fire, the second death. Okay? So let's go back here. Cause there's a there's a little it's a it's a, um it's a lot of it's some good uh points in here. He he brings up a vision from a guy named Henry Groover back in 1986. Check this out. In that vision, he was shown that Russia would launch a sudden nuclear attack on our cities from submarines that have moved right upon up to our coastlines. The following account of that vision comes from my book entitled "Lost Prophecies of the Future of America." You brothers can read all this. Matter of fact, well, you know, you brothers can read all this, you know, because he kind of seems like he read the book of Edges, how he tries to break it down his own way. All right. But, um, yeah, man, you know, visions, people are receiving, you know, visions of the end time, man, just like they were back. Like I said, this guy received his vision in 1986, you know, it says, um, this one, 19, uh, uh, 54. All right. This one is uh, pretty interesting too. check this out. For example, the following is an excerpt from a vision that A. Allen had in 1954. Then suddenly I saw from the Atlantic and from the Pacific and out of the Gulf rocket like objects that seem to come up, uh, come to come up like fish leaping out of the water. Now, think about this, man. Like Russia, they got all types of Nuclear capabilities, high, high, hyper supersonic submarines, all types of crazy, crazy madness weaponry that they got just sitting in the Atlantic, that's sitting, chilling in the Pacific, undetected. That's been, that's already, it's, it's been detected, you know, and, 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 and they'll, they'll tell you in, in the news and people are just still going about their day because it's, we're in the, we're in the time of Noah, Noah. Nobody don't, nobody, ain't nobody worrying about what the hell is going on as far as world war on the shores of America. Ain't nobody worry about that, except for the elect, okay? It says, high into the air, they leaped, each headed into a different direction, but everyone towards the U.S. This is describing the missiles. On the ground, the sirens screamed louder, and up from the ground, I saw similar rockets begin to ascend. To me, these appear to be interceptor rockets, although they arose from different points all over the U.S. However, 
None of them seemed to be successful in intercepting the rockets that had risen from the ocean on every side. These rockets finally reached their maximum height, but slowly turned over and fell back toward the earth in defeat. Then suddenly the rockets which had leaped out of the ocean like fish all exploded at once. The explosion was ear split splitting. Next thing which I saw was a huge fireball. The only thing I ever seen, the, the only thing I have ever seen which resembled the thing I saw in my vision was the picture of the explosion of the H bomb in the South Pacific, man. Which um, the H bomb, if I'm not mis uh, mistaken, was uh, shot by Russia. Let me look this up. I could be wrong. It says, it says, thermonuclear weapon, fusion weapon, hydrogen bomb is a second generation nuclear bomb design. Yada, yada, yada. Let's see about the history. It says, okay, so. The first atomic bomb test by the Soviet Union in August 1949 came earlier than expected by Americans. And over the next several months, there was an intense debate, yada, yada, yada. That's the name. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's the name. Let me keep reading. I saw it before I even say it. Um, and over the next several months, there was an intense debate within the U.S. government, military, scientific communities, yada, yada, yada. The debate covered matters that were alternatively strategic, dramatic, moral, in a report on a general advisory, Robert Eipenheimer, that was his name, and colleagues concluded that the extreme danger to mankind inherent in the proposal to develop thermonuclear weapons royally outweighs any military advantage. Despite the objection raised on, made the decision to go, okay, so Harry S. Truman, okay, I'm glad I made that uh, correction, but deciding to do it, make it a reality to tell him, Okay. It says the George shot. Yep, you brothers got it. So it was Henry Truman, so it was America. Okay. That was the second generation atomic bomb, the H bomb that they let go. But the first atomic one was by the uh, Soviet. But that was the name. He be said, I became the destroyer of worlds, Robert Oppenheimer. That was his name. Edomites, man. All Edomites had split the atom, used the earth resources to create these bombs. And the most High put the spirit on them to do this to destroy themselves, man. The, the, the weapon. This is what Esau was blessed with. Okay. Weapons of mass destruction. All right. Um, where was I? All right. Finish this up here. It's just, it says, uh, I believe that Sonia Craighead was shown the exact same event that Henry Groover and A. A. Allen were shown. Someday the Russians will conduct a lightning fast attack, nuclear strike from submarines that have, that have stationed themselves all along our coastline. And you know what's funny? Esau puts this in his movies. Um, uh, uh, what's that movie? Um, the Red Dawn. Uh, is that Aaron Moab invaded? One of the nations invading. Okay. But that was by plane. But it's so many movies out there showing the weak points of America. I believe that's uh, Ezekiel 38. Uh, the Lord is uh, um, going to allow Russia to come against the land of unwalled villages. You can correct me on the common board if I'm using the chapter wrong. Okay. But um, this is this is this is two a hey, eat eat them on eat them war. Okay, Edomites against Edomites. All right. It says, um, yeah, we pr we pretty much got the point. Let me uh, finish it off here in Second Edges 16 and, and uh, 19 and get on out of here. This is uh second edge of 16 and uh second edge of 16 and 14 
Uh, I want to start up. I want to start at one. You know what? Starting at one. Second edge is 16 and one. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourself with cloths of sack and hair. Be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Okay, America. All right, uh, Ammon, Moab. Okay, uh, uh, these Arabs. All these nations are about to suffer destruction. As, as, hey, this, this is going to affect everybody on the planet Earth. If you ain't... <laughs> If you ain't a part of the Lord's elect, it's a wrap. A sword is sit upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sit among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Like, who is really going to turn this around? Once the Moha, Mo, what, what the Most High have said. So what you, all right, nations come like you, like I was saying, but what is these nations? So what you come up with an agreement? It's not going to work. What the Most High have said it will be so. Plagues are sent unto you, verse 5. And what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away in the hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it have begun to burn? May, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer? The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? That's another thing. People thinking we're scaring people. Oh, you're a uh, fear mongering. No, the Most High is threatening, threatening you. Hey, if you don't repent, you're going to die in the lake of fire. That's what it is, man. It ain't, don't, don't, don't hate the message, messenger. Okay, don't hate us because what the Most High said and we just saying it. Okay, even though you're going to hate us anyway <laughs> because you're a scoffer and you don't agree with the Most High. All right, because you hate what he says and we're his mouthpiece. So you're going to hate us. You're going to try to close out our mouth. You're going to put down our videos. But the fire is still coming. All right, the Lord said he, he was going to um, destroy you with, his, with, the, with the word of his mouth and then at, at the brightness of his coming. The Lord going to shine in his glory on your ass, man. Why your ass is burning, man. You damn heathens, man. You've been shining on us this whole time. Well, Yahweh Shai about to come in his glory on you devils, man. Straight up. Okay? Our king, Yahweh Shai, is about to return, man. Give a damn what the hell Esau, <laughs> Esau and these nations think they G2 summits and agreement. You... Oh, you know, try to for forfeit on prophecy or escape to the moon. Whatever the hell you try to do, it ain't going to work. Period, point blank. And you know it. But you trying to believe it ain't going to happen. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Time to be an Edomite, right? Through. Verse um, 12. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea arises up with waves from the deep. And the ways of it are trouble, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord, and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Because these are ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. They're going from one continent to the next, from the, the Asian continent all the way to the American continent. All right, from the American continent all the way to Russia, from the, uh, from America to China, from China to Arab, vice versa, just arrows flying everywhere. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be a back to back battle. All right, this ain't gonna be by, um, with guns. All right, as it says in Isaiah nine and five, this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. All right. Taking out, uh, hey, the Lord's gonna ignite this bitch, man. You're gonna turn and flame this motherfucker up, man. You know, straight up. This per this place needs it, man. And the Lord gonna start start it up with a new heavens and a new earth, man. With the with the hundred and forty four thousand ruling, man. That's the vision. That's that's the new heavens and a new earth. This shit is about to pass away, man. Excuse my French. We reading it right now. Why are your hopes still here? Why is Jake still? You know, 
It is what it is. Um, it says, verse 14, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. So once those, once they leave the, sh the silos, that's it. Ain't no turning them off. Oh, no, wait. No, <laughs> no. It's, once they shot, it's gone. It ain't no come deactivate button. Because those are, hey, they say every, it's a message in the bullet. Well, it's a message in the, in those missiles, man. That's going to be, that's going to land right on the earth where it's supposed to land. And that will be the message. Fire. Okay. Melt, melt. Radiation heat spreading thousands of miles. Melting your whole infrastructure in one hour. These things happened in seconds. As the scripture said. In one hour. What John saw, this thing happening. What Ezra saw in one hour, this happened. It didn't. It happened that quick. People, oh, everything vanished that quick. You, every you just didn't see anything that no more. All right. And it's gonna happen at a sudden, man. When people least expect it. And we pray, y'all, by Shimi Shah, We've been we've been on our watch, man. Cause these people, hey, man, that's the that's gonna be the sudden, man. It says, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? Edris is like, who the f like, where the hell am I? How am, how am I going to get saved from this? These are the same... Our, uh, Ezra was a uh, was a divine connection with the Most High, and he had answers to these visions that he were getting. Many visions. He, the Lord told him to go out in the garden, fast for a certain amount of days. But fast forward today, people are just getting this, and they don't even know what the hell, what it is. They waking up, shivering and shit, like don't know what the hell is going on. Crying, explaining to their family members, calling on the hotline, what the hell is going on. You know, all types of shit. You know, shit for the lack of a better word. Or all types of um, diverse situations, I'll say. Uh, 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 situations like this. But men of the Lord in these last days is breaking it down, man. Straight up. It's right here. It's right here. You read it right here. 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and angu anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. You know? So, Edges is even like, yo, what what the hell am I going to do when, 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 when these missiles drop? You know? And only the elect is written. The elect is going to be mingled with the fire, but getting beaten out of the fire. You know, and, and and it's funny Esau. He puts it in. He puts it in the movies, like the Knowing, which is a very good movie to watch. Judgment Day, Terminator Two, and just showing you what he's gonna do. And we have a we we and we can repent at this. We we have a chance, the nation of Israel. All right, this should this should a hey, a hey, part of fearing the Most High is knowing His judgment, man. All right, uh, Jeremiah nine and twenty three. That's the mo that's the blessed thing to know. The Most High's judgment to be saved from his his, his crazy judgment. You want to be on the Most High's good hand. You don't want to. You don't want to be a part of this. A lot of people want the Most High smoke, but when he bring that smoke, he gonna smoke. He gonna do more. He gonna he gonna the smoke is gonna be after he unfry fire fry your ass. All right, <laughs> and you ain't gonna be nowhere to be found. America's. There ain't going to be nowhere to found, be found. So the Lord is about to turn up the degrees in this bitch, man. Straight up, man. Call all your heart by Shimei Awashah. I'm in it there. By Shimei Kodash. Double honors unto my apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace, love, and salutation to the hopeful elect. Prophetic dreams of the end. We almost out of here. Akiyam walk. Walk was a quiet. Let's just keep patiently waiting and taking heed into the signs. Because ain't nobody else watching the signs but the elect. The remnant. Shalom.